Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my wrap up of the year video. I thought what I would do is I would put together a video of wisdom that I've gained over the year. What have I learned? What has been new in my world in terms of wisdom, in terms of learning? There are a couple of key principles that really stand out and I just thought I would share those with you. I'm currently at Heathrow Airport. It's about eight in the morning. I'm about to fly to Singapore in an hour. I do an hour stop in Singapore and then on another eight hour flight to Sydney. So I think I'll be in the air for about 24 hours or so, which is pretty incredible. I think I'm gonna sleep a lot because I had to get up at four in order to be here on time. But the big bag is checked. I can chill out and have some fun now. So I thought I'd take you guys with me. Join me on the trip. And every now and then I'll give you a little bit of wisdom that I've gained over the past year. Okay, the first bit of wisdom. What's it going to be? Well, this is going to be a video that I'm, I still might make it a shorts video, but I've always wanted to make a shorts on this. And the title is Doomsday Can't Happen Because Good Karma Must Be Paid. And this is the first bit of wisdom that I really learnt very deeply this year. And that's because when I came home to London after three years in Sydney, I was there from 2020 to 2023, I came back here to London, Feb 2023, and I discovered that with some of my friends, some of them, yeah, they, they had a bad time during that pandemic. I had not a good time as well. It was a tough time. This is going to be hard because there's going to be a lot of announcements. Well, I just do my best. Clara Chong. Clara, come on, Clara. Deborah Coles. Come on, Deborah. Toran Dominic. There are so many messages Mr. for Oliver these people. Jackson, Mr. Rahman Katyal, Yan Yan Liu. Come on, Yan Yan. Chong Hang Fu. Where are you guys? Daisy Meng. I was away for three years, I come back. I had a tough time, 2020 to 2023, it was not an easy time for me. I, it was difficult. And when I came back, I discovered that certain of my friends, they had a really tough time too, but then some really profited, okay? And that was despite the fact that there was a global pandemic, the whole world was in meltdown, everybody was talking about doomsday, prepping the works, right? But one, one of my friends, I mean, gosh, they bought an investment property, they traveled a lot, they moved, they did this, they did that. And what it taught me was that when it's your time for good karma, it has to be paid, which means if it has to be paid, the world has to be in a good shape to provide it to you as well, or a good enough shape to provide it to you. Okay, so it will be, it will be in a good enough shape to provide it to you. You will receive your good karma. Um, yeah, by the way, I don't even know what to look at. Am I looking at the right thing? I'll find out. I, I never do this vlogging thing. This is so cool. I think the camera is over there. Anyway, yeah, I mean, this is one of the big, deep wisdom principles that I have discovered. And I, it just so happened that my 12th from transit coincided with a time where the world wasn't in good shape, you know. So yeah, I suppose there was some symmetry there, but uh, equally, yeah, one, one set of my friends, boy, they got a lot of good karma that was due to them and it came in during that time frame. So a wisdom principle is that good karma, uh, doomsday can't happen because good karma must be paid. They said you never make it, but you finally came through. 
hours later I'd give it all if I could guest on television I'd give it all to be on Hey Hey on Saturday night just to stand there with Daryl and Ozzy Ostrich Hey Ozzy, wait to throw a line and get some crazy mixed up Hey Hey would be fine I've seen them all around the world and I can tell you Hey, hey's different and I'm not so really why. Ah, see what I mean? I thought I was there, but I'm here. Only on Hey, hey does that happen. Tell him that he's here. Give me a try. I thought about making a video in Singapore, but I was just too tired. So I flew 12 hours from London to Singapore. I had an hour stopover and in that time I thought I know I can squeeze in a little wisdom principle but no I was way too tired and I've been in Sydney now for a couple of days and the weather has been incredible it's been so lovely to just walk around in you know 28 degree heat 30 degree 33 degree heat yesterday I think it was really hot yesterday I didn't walk around anywhere I just stayed at home and rested but yeah jet lag is a real thing like I've flipped my day upside down so when I am this is the biggest jet lag you can have like when I should be falling asleep in London I'm waking up here so yeah it's just completely upside down and it's taken me a couple of days to get used to it but um, anyone who wants to book a session for example I've now updated the system and you will be able to book in with me if you would like to so that is all organized uh, one of you has booked and but I've shuffled you from March to you know more recent time like say so yeah you can book now if you want to uh, but let's take a look at the next wisdom principle okay so what is it because I was looking back over the year and reviewing all the things I've learned and this was one of the things I learned. So I like to call it micro intelligence, macro stupidity. And this is a wisdom principle that all of us know, you know, and there's a classic phrase in the English language that you can't see the wood for the trees. And I really like that phrase, but I, I also like coming up with new ways of phrasing it. See, I'm having to make sure I don't do any macro stupidity right now because I could easily be run over by that little road I've just crossed. But, I, but you know, micro intelligent, I'm making a video, right? That's cool. But then macro stupidity, I could get hit by a car, so yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna sit down over here and talk you through this example. So yeah, I think this is really easy to spot in other people, but it's harder to spot it in ourselves. And that's the real spiritual work when we when we look at okay where am I being macro stupid you know uh, that's where we do the real work and this is a good time to be talking about this kind of thing because we've got um, Ketu in Virgo right Ketu lauded by Mercury so that's kind of like micro intelligence sort of <laughs> and then Rahu lauded by Jupiter Rahu in Pisces which I always think those two together Rahu and Jupiter sometimes stupid things can happen people can be foolish people can do really silly things so that is a little wisdom principle that yeah I've been working with over the past year observing that in people around me trying to find it in myself where do I do that not as easy but that's the work uh, and yeah so so that is wisdom concept number two we're going to take a look at wisdom concept number three next I might change my location here at the university we'll do that one somewhere different okay the next wisdom principle is simply money is lesser in value 
to time. At least I think that's what I've got written here. Let me just check. Yeah, money is lesser in value to time. Okay, what do I mean by this? Let's take a look at this with an example. But before I do that, I just want to say I've been working with this principle for many years. And the phrasing of this, the way it came through, happened in a pick a card reading that I did this past year. And sometimes pick a card has some nice little bits of wisdom in there that come through. And sometimes the phrasing and the way it comes through can just put things in a bit more perspective. Uh, and to me, this one was very striking to say that money is lesser in value to time. Okay, and we can also extend this further. We can say money is lesser in value to health. Money is lesser in value to love. Money is lesser in value to nature. Nature, health, love, time. I think all those things rank higher than money. And it's such an important principle because if you get this one right, all the time that you spend can be time that's well spent and that, that you enjoy and that you love and you feel good, you know, and you're healthy and you're nourished and you're well and all those good things, you know, we've got to rank those things as higher. So I'll give you an example to illustrate this. Okay, so on the channel, I've recently told you about how my mum has been doing some deep research into natural remedies for teeth. And she's found this thing called xylitol and people are using, oh God, we've got mozzies. Okay, there we go. Very Aussie thing to have mozzies everywhere. Um, but yeah, my mum's been doing this research into natural remedies. She's found this thing called xylitol. It's great for your teeth. And you know, responsible dentists should know about this and can even recommend it to you. I, I had a responsible dentist. I had the best dentist ever. He retired, unfortunately, just the year before I flew out, you know, in 2020, he retired end of 2019. Uh, and I was seeing him since probably about 2008. He was a great guy. And one time I had a small cavity developing and he said, look, if you really floss that and look after it, it will remineralize and I won't need to drill. What a great dentist, right? What an honest, good man. A man who's clearly interested in the health of the human being that he's treating, right? So there are a lot of dentists who are not like this. They'll, they'll see that there is no cavity and they'll try and drill to make some money. There are people who are like that. And so clearly they're not living by the principle that money is lesser in value to time. Money is lesser in value to health. My mum was doing this research into xylitol and somebody in the comments of the video wrote that she you know, had such fantastic teeth that the hygienist was like, well, I can't do anything. There's not, no work here. So she shows it to the dentist. She says, look at this person, there's nothing here. The dentist has a look, is really impressed and he says, well, what are you doing? And this person says, well, I'm cleaning my teeth with xylitol. I've got this new regime going and I do this and I do that and it's all natural. And anyway, the dentist, get this, he rolls his eyes and leaves the room. I mean, that is so sad. And clearly this is a man who doesn't understand this wisdom principle of money is lesser in value to time or money is lesser in value to health or money is lesser in value to love. This dentist doesn't understand that. You know, and, and if money is higher in value to all of these things, then to me, that's a bit of macro stupidity right there. So I do hope this little wisdom principle is some interesting food for thought, guys. Let me know. I just wanted to come up with a video, kind of come up with an excuse uh, for an excuse to talk to you. I'm just checking my hair because a couple of videos, my hair was really terrible. Anyway. The last video I did, oh my God, I had such a bad hair day, but I kept going. Anyway, <laughs> I, just, I just wanted an excuse to say hi and to talk to you and to say that, yeah, I'm back uh, doing videos and sessions. Sessions are now on, guys. If you want to book a session, you can. And videos will be back on. I don't know if I'll do pick a card for a little while, 
but I would like to do uh, my usual videos so I'm gonna do a monthly that's coming up next and then hopefully now I don't want to make any hard and fast promises on this one but I would like to do a yearly outlook because I don't have the newsletter anymore so I think that would be good to do so I'll, I'll find the energy and the time to do that I'm still getting over the jet lag but you know uh, work keeps me energized as well so yeah I've learned some new things about that too maybe I might do a wisdom principles video on that about how one can recharge while doing work I'm kind of studying that at the moment so yeah let's see if I come up with any good findings I'll share them with you here definitely all right guys well take care and I look forward to seeing you next time